Good morning farmers. Today we are at Kajado at Genesis plant racers. They are doing very good the onions you can see. Here is where we get our quality seedlings from these guys. And here we have a good product for you farmers which has been very effective in our onion doing in Kenya and in other countries. Today we are introducing to you a fertilizer uh, by the name Kokri. You can see the way it has been performing very well. We have been using Kokoli for its over now two years. Actually, the Kokoli has been giving the start. He's also doing soil pH buffer. Mm. When it comes now to the color, mm. you can see our nurseries are very green. What about the soil pH? Yeah, soil pH they are very good because they act as a buffer. Buffer, eh? mm. oh, that's good. What's the performance of Kokoli in the market? Uh, Kokoli in the market, I think maybe you need to push it further. But mm. I think it's a very good fertilizer. I can recommend it to all farmers mm. to use it. Yeah. Mm. So, Mr. David, this is half a kilo. Mm. Half a kilo of your seedlings, yeah? Mm. I remember last time we got from you. Mm. For me, half a kilo uh, using Kokoli, I got six tons mm. of onion. Mm. Very quality one with good color. For uh, me as a farmer, I've been doing onion more than 10 acres of Kitungu, but I saw a very big difference in Koku. One difference I got is the uh, the firmness of the onion, again the, the, the quality, mm. the quality and even the quantity. Because I used to do half a kilo, I can affect like three and a half tons, four tons, maximum four tons. But using Koku, I've been able to do six tons and that would go out to me because it's like a miracle to me. So my great farmers, good farmers, please support our farmers. Look at Kokoli and try a Kokoli and you never regret. So the question is posed now. How did you apply Kokoli? Is it water soluble? Are you using it through the fertigation? Are you mixing with other fertilizers? Is it easy to, to dissolve and to be uptaken by the planet? It is. We are doing the fertigation. We are using through the fertigation. Yeah, but it can just be applied. So you can still apply in the soil. In the soil. So now we can use Kokoli through the fertigation. It is water soluble. And if you don't have the fertigation system, as Mr. Eric is saying, you can mix with other fertilizers. Ratio 4 to 1. If you are using 4 kg from X fertilizers, you mix 1 kg of Kokoli. Okay, in the three stages. So if you plant with DEB, okay, you can mix 4 kg of DEB with 1 kg of Kokoli. Uh, we are assured that there is a, a production increase of how much, my friend? At least 15% from what you used to get. An additional 15% of what I used to produce. 15, 15%. Yeah, 15 percent extra so if you are getting uh, for example 10 tons you are getting now 11.5 to 12 ton yeah. two tons are is good money, it's good money yeah. two tons of onions in kenya is how much money is almost uh, 50 thousand uh, average of 50 shillings per kilo now it's 50 thousand per one ton 50 thousand per one ton yeah so we are talking about average from 70 to 100 thousand extra money yeah. and you have used the cocody how uh for one acre for your experience how many bags you have used only three bags three bags three bags yeah yeah three, three bags, bags. Yeah. so three bags of cocoli 60 kg of cocoli yeah. you are getting around two tons extra two tons extra, yeah. two tons extra. that's a hundred thousand that's a hundred thousand money yeah that's very good sir yeah. so okay maybe the package you can tell us or some us yes it is 20 kg package water soluble fertilizers it is a soil conditioners it has a nutrition nutrition elements as well as a soil conditioners so the idea behind the cocody is to uh, change the soil condition to maximize the uptaking okay and to hold the nutrition elements around the root area and the root zone as maximum because it has a, a humic acid valvic acid molasses fermentation so it will hold you see the nutrition elements and the root zone that is the most important, right? Because of leaching, you are irrigating, right? So leaching is taking the nutrition elements from the root zone. Mm -hmm. That's why cocoli we are recommending. And it's still it will buffer the soil pH. Both up and down. If you are acidic, acidic water, alkaline soil, it will buffer. 
if your water pH is 8 and the soil pH is 5, it will buffer both of them up and down. Okay, thank you. Our uh, customers from Essenia, yeah. Mr. David. Mm. Uh, thank you, Mr. Eric yeah. from Kitingela. Thank you very much, boss. Most welcome. Bye-bye.